Hey everyone, welcome to Curls by Kat, I'm Kat. Today I'm going to show you a really quick wash day that's using just budget drugstore products, really fast, um, fast as I can do it. Let me walk you through what I used today to get these lovely results. First thing I used is the Naughty Caretaker Shampoo. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's really, really good for scalp. I have an extremely itchy and flaky scalp. I've struggled with it for quite some time now. This has been one of the best ones. It's for dandruff prone and sensitive scalps, but it is not stripping and it doesn't have any sulfates. So it is perfect. It really, really helps me out eases the itching and it comes in at seven pounds so it's a total steal next is one of my all-time favorite conditioners the garnier ultimate blends coconut water and aloe vera conditioner this stuff is two pounds and it has some of the best slip it really hydrates the hair but it is not heavy it doesn't weigh it down at all next i use the giovanni leave-in conditioner this is a weightless moisture one it's really great for if you have very thin or fine hair and you feel like it's easily weighed down this is a great option it's really light it costs six pounds and it's really really nice on the slip it has a lovely smell and you can use very little emulsified with water and it goes a long way lastly i use the harry's sculpting gel this was actually the first time i ever used this gel i feel like i might have used a little too much but it's still looking really good so i'm fine with it this is only seven pounds it's uh, curly girl friendly it smells very masculine if i can say it like that like a man's aftershave which i don't mind but if you're into girly smells then you might not love it it didn't have the best slip but it was still fine i was able to distribute it with no problems it is quite a thicker gel so i definitely had to emulsify quite a bit with water as you'll see in the video uh, but again worked really well and a total steal at seven bucks using only these four products which you can get at most drug stores in the uk and most of these i think are very common internationally if they're not i'm sure there's something in your area that is similar or similar priced so you don't always have to go with the most expensive thing it only took me about 45 minutes including diffusing time which if most curly girls know that is very fast I didn't, I didn't spend a lot of time fixing wonky curls for example you can see this one dried a little wonky doesn't bother me but usually something like this i would just finger coil just the one uh, because it just a little funky it's got a lot of volume and it's still got really good definition as you can see here so yeah it doesn't have to be perfect all the time for a 45 minute wash day and 22 pounds in total i feel that that's a really successful wash day so if you're looking for some budget stuff uh, this is it and hopefully you'll be able to find these somewhere near you or something similar and remember it really doesn't have to be expensive to be good or to work for you this is my budget quick wash day I started with brushed out hair to avoid finger detangling in the shower, but if you do prefer to finger detangle, you can do that with the conditioner. At this point, I'm just wetting my hair thoroughly. Then I start the cleansing process. I want to get the shampoo all over the scalp, make sure that it's really covering everything so everything gets clean. And you can use your fingers or you can use a scalp brush, which is really helpful for removing buildup and dirt, but it's not a necessity. Make sure to really spend some time cleaning your entire scalp, especially if you're following the Curly Girl method and you've stopped using sulfates, it's easy to get buildup. So it's very important to scrub thoroughly all over the scalp. Then rinse completely. Next, I use my conditioner to condition and moisturize the hair. Now, I already brushed my hair, so I didn't need to do much finger detangling. But if you are finger detangling, always start from the bottom, moving your way up very gently. You don't want to pull your hair or cause breakage by being too rough. I used plenty of conditioner and added more if I needed. And make sure your hair is very wet. This is called squished condish. When there is a lot of conditioner and water in your hair, you squish upwards to encourage curl formation. And you can do this as you rinse as well to continue to encourage the curls to form. Next, we use the leave-in conditioner here and we do the same thing. We apply it evenly and squish to condish. You can see there is loads of water in the hair. This encourages curl clumps and definition. Next, I used Harry's gel. I used a little bit too much, so I won't show you how much I used here, but I think the correct amount would be about the size of a hazelnut. I'm applying it all over my hair and raking it through to make sure it's evenly distributed. Gently rotate the hair from side to side and apply the product and squish again to encourage the curls to form, but be gentle so that you don't break the clumps. 
You can see I'm rotating my head from side to side and not flipping. This helps to maintain definition, avoid frizz, and make sure the hair isn't stuck to the back of my head. If there are some pieces that are stuck, I'll gently pull them off, as you can see here. When I'm sure the hair isn't stuck to the scalp anymore, I use a kind of bear claw to rake the hair and form clumps before scrunching some more. Make sure you bring the clumps all the way up to the root to encourage the curls to form up there too. After the scrunching, I rotate my head back and gently shake it out. Next, I plop. I place my curls carefully at the bottom of a cotton t-shirt, wrap the ends around the back of my head, and pull the front forward, finally wrapping and tying it at the front of my head. It might take you a few tries at first, but it does get easier, and I usually plop for about 20 minutes. Our penultimate step is diffusing. After removing the cotton t-shirt, start by placing the diffuser near your scalp, gently lifting your hair at the root and then turning it on. You want to start with the root first, since that usually takes the longest to dry, and move around the entire scalp until you can feel it is more damp than wet. Each time that you move the diffuser, turn it off before moving it. This helps to avoid frizz. Continue to rotate around the scalp until you feel it's mostly just damp. Then I do pixie diffusing. I take a section of hair and move it into the diffuser bowl. Then you lift the hair to add volume and then you turn on the diffuser. Hold for a few minutes, then move to another section. You can dry the hair to 100% like this, or you could do this until the hair is about 70% dry and air dry the rest of the way. If you're bored, and you probably will be, I recommend The Girl and the Goddess by Nagitsa Jill. It's a beautiful book. When the hair is fully dry, you'll have a nice hard cast. And this is the part where we scrunch out the crunch. You can use a light oil to do this, like rosehip or argan oil. You can also use a satin pillowcase or bonnet, or, or you can just use your hands, like I am. And here is the final wash day result not a perfect wash day. It's a little frizzy, but there is still very good definition as you can see here. Plenty of bounce. Um, it's not particularly shiny. I haven't sealed it with an oil because I wanted to keep to the budget. When you spend a little more time on it, then you can maybe finger coil a few wonky bits or you can shape it a little bit more or diffuse uh, more slowly to control the shape, things like that. So obviously then that will just take you a little bit longer, but it's really fine not to do it as you can see. And of course using budget drugstore products works perfectly. See we have plenty of mobility in the hair, lots of volume, plenty of definition as well. It's a great wash day, especially considering how little money and time we spent on it. Well, hopefully this will give you an idea for a budget wash day of your own. If you can't get these exact products, you can probably get something similar. Keep in mind that you don't have to buy the most expensive products in order to get good results. If you're a busy person, you don't have a lot of time to spend, that's totally fine. You don't have to spend hours doing your hair. Of course, if you spend more time, you might have more control over the outcome and you might have a wash day that lasts slightly longer, variations like that. But it doesn't mean that it's gonna be a bad wash day simply because it's a short one or a cheap one. Keep that in mind. I hope this was useful. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see from me. See you next time. Bye.